I'll try to figure out this one, okay? Oh yeah, we're done this part. Start this way. It's okay. Oh. Hello, I'm Dr. Gordon Hamilton. Today on Math Pickle, I'm going to introduce you to Kajitsu. Kajitsu is a puzzle that helps students learn both rotational and mirror symmetry. So if your students are looking for that special oomph to get them going in that direction, then this is the book for you. And even if you don't want to buy the book, uh, there's a lot of free stuff on Math Pickle that will allow you to give students that experience. Here's a typical Kajitsu puzzle. It comes with five hints about how we have to slice up this cherry. Here's the solution. So you see, whenever we get the correct solution, we're going to have a whole bunch of pieces that are all symmetrical. In this case, they're all symmetrical with mirror symmetry. What's mirror symmetry? Mirror symmetry means that if we take one of these pieces, it has an axis and we can flip the piece around that axis and it will look the same. Let's look at another piece and another piece. The seven in the center of these pieces and on that pip, that means that that piece is made up of seven hexagons. That pip must lie within the figure. So it's not acceptable if that pip is on the outside. That's, that's not an acceptable placement of the pip. What do you think of this piece? Well, it has five hexagons and it has one axis of symmetry. No, it doesn't. It's got two axes of symmetry. Those both must be identified on the pip with those arrows. So you know that if there's two axes of symmetry, I'm going to show them to you. Let's go step by step through a Kajitsu puzzle. We're going to start by coloring in the five regions that have got pips in them. Orange, brown, green, purple, and yellow. Next, I'm going to present some question marks. Here's the first one. What must the color be in that hexagon? Could it be yellow? It can't be yellow, because if it was yellow, then that new hexagon that I have, that would have to be yellow, but that's not even part of the cherry. So it's impossible for that question mark to be a yellow. It has to be green. Now let's use mirror symmetry of the green piece to say what that color should be. Well, it should be green as well. I'm going to be quiet now. I'm just going to present question marks and you can turn off the video whenever you want your class to try to guess the right answer. Here are some Kajitsu puzzles for the whole class to work on from scratch. Start by coloring in those hexagons that have a pip in them and do that with different colors. There's the solution.
There are lots of free Kajitsu puzzles on mathpickle.com. If you decide to buy the book, you have a choice. You can either buy a black and white book, or you can buy this color version. The color version has got all of the solutions. The black and white version does not. However, all of the solutions do appear on mathpickle.com, so you don't have to pick up the book that has the solutions inside. Kajitsu is one of the best puzzles that I've created, so I'm very happy with it, and I'm really looking forward to getting some feedback about how it's going to work in your class to introduce and cement ideas of mirror symmetry and rotational symmetry. Okay, I have this one. Yeah.